hello and welcome back and that is right today i want to talk about the very best nas you should buy for surveillance at the start of 2022 now bear in mind by surveillance it goes by many forms surveillance cctv nvr these are all terms that sort of for the most part all mean the same thing in the context that we're talking about today what i am addressing is a nas a network attached storage device which has its own brain its own cpu its memory and a whole bunch of storage that allows you to connect it with multiple ip devices in your network now Predominantly, these are going to be your cameras, your IP cameras, surveillance cameras in dome, bullet, desktop. There's so many different kinds out there, but also IP speakers, IP door locks. There's different kinds of IP devices that you can integrate into a surveillance setup, and that's precisely what I want to talk about today. And although there are genuinely thousands of NASs out there, all of which arrive with their own kind of bespoke and different geared level surveillance software included, not all are built equally and some are better than others. So today I want to help you narrow it down to the best three that I would recommend right now at the start of 2021. Bear in mind if you're watching this part of the way through 2022 um, and it's like summer 2022 and you're sitting there going, oh I wonder what the best one is, I'll look it up and you found this video, things may have changed, other releases may have arrived on the scene, and therefore, what I'm saying today may not be true later on. So if you're watching this in the future, there should be a link in the description over to NAS Compares where we cover this subject exhaustively. So, surveillance NAS. What is it? Why is it important? Real quick, when network attached storage devices arrived on the scene, they were pretty bare bones. It was a bunch of hard drives that could be accessed by the network or the internet. There was a few little apps, but it was mostly file management, backups, and downloads. And over the years, this platform has evolved to absorb all these different features and services with the um, platform and software inside approaching that of operating systems like um, Mac OS, Android, and Windows. It's incredibly diverse with the many, many, many tools and services included. One of which, which has really grown over the years, is surveillance. Pretty much all the NAS brands have their own surveillance platform. Synology have Surveillance Station, QNAP has Surveillance Station and QVR Pro. Acer Store has Surveillance Center, WD, um, Integrated Milestone for a little while. They all have their own software included, as well as the support of multiple IP cameras. Now, these systems, again, do differ depending on what you can do with that software, how easy it is to access, the complexity of the services it can do. It all differs quite wildly, as well as something like camera licenses that I'll touch on later on. But in order for us to narrow down these thousands of NASs, so just three of the best you should buy right now, it's worth us putting some rules in place here. Unlike my other best of the years, this is very task specific. This is targeting precisely that of surveillance. So all of the systems I want to talk about today arrive with the support of at least RAID or RAID, uh, RAID 5 or RAID 6. I'm not dealing with any two bays or anything like that. I'm only looking at your likes of your RAID 5, your RAID 6, because that's a tremendous amount of storage. With these cameras typically recording in quite high quality, even if you lower the frame rate, you're going to need some serious data. So again, we are talking to a decent level of RAID support there. Also, there has to be support of at least 15 IP cameras. I kind of worked it out. Most businesses, let's say it's a two-floor business, they've got outside, they've got inside, so they'll have two cameras around the front, two cameras around the back, four cameras on the downstairs floor, uh, four cameras on the upstairs floor, that's already 12. So the way I saw it was, if that being the base minimum, we'll do it 15. So all of the NASs I'm going to talk about today have to support at least 15 simultaneous cameras. On top of that, they have to include support of either encrypted recording or encrypted storage or both because encryption one way or another businesses need to have that on their surveillance system for their staff safety or your own home you need to know that this data can't just be accessed and you know gone through with relative ease also there has to be cloud support either with integrated cloud recording or cloud support to be able to migrate those recordings elsewhere because if someone steals the NAS you want to know that some or all of that recording can still be retrieved online and also there has to be support of AI assisted analytics on the NAS. Now for those who aren't aware that is when not only is a camera like these just recording what it sees on screen 
but it can actually analyze the things in that. So it knows the difference between a person and a car. It knows the difference between a car and a bike. It can draw lines over the recording. It can analyze those recordings in a way that a human can't and analyze mass recordings much, much quicker. All of the NASs in my top three support it to a greater or lesser degree. You know, we'll talk on that in a little bit. But with those rules in mind, let's make our way directly into our first recommended surveillance NAS for the start of 2022. So I weighed it up and when it comes down to it, if you are a home user that needs a NAS for lots of things and you're sort of integrating surveillance or even if you're a small office, a small shop owner who wants to integrate a NAS into their daily routine for the data and the records being kept on transactions but also cameras dotted around the environment, for me overall in terms of utility, ease of access and diversity of use, for me, the winner there is the QNAT TS-453D. Now, it's worth highlighting, everything I'm about to say applies to the TS-253D and 653D. I'm only talking about the 4-bay because the 4-bay has support of RAID 5 and RAID 6, as does the 6, but it costs more money. The TS-453D, along with a bunch of other stuff like Plex and backups and media and VMs and all that stuff, its support of surveillance is first class. First and foremost, it arrives with eight camera licenses. For those that aren't aware, camera licenses um, are thus. When you get a NAS, it has that software, and in most cases, that software is genuinely enterprise grade in its build quality. But that software needs regular updates, and a lot of businesses, big businesses at that, will use this software to protect their assets. It will be linked to their insurance, it will be linked to the welfare of their staff, or even family members. Therefore, that is a huge burden for this software to carry and stay current and stay updated. So rather than ask people on day one to pay for the software, most NAS brands have reached kind of a middle ground. They give you the software for free. They then also give you some camera licenses to add some cameras. But the minute you add more than those camera licenses you're given, such as two, four, or eight camera licenses, the result is that you have to pay for additional licenses. And that is how the brand has kind of identified between a home and a business user. They've gone down that line and said, we think this many cameras on this unit is enough for a home or prosumer user, but if you're a business user that's gonna be overly reliant on this service, you're gonna to have to pay for more camera licenses. In the 453D, it's a 500, you know, $550 NAS. Eight camera licenses is really, really generous compared to any other NAS brand out there, with most offering two or four at most in most cases. This system also arrives with an integrated graphic CPU and Intel Celeron. It's got four gig of memory that can be upscaled. It also has support of USB cameras if you want to have a localized camera connected on. There's also a PCIe upgrade slot that allows you to add on an M2 adapter and the Google TPU, that Coral 25 pound adapter, to wildly upscale surveillance um, applications and um, AI surveillance applications within the QVR Pro platform. Moreover than that, the 453D is a KVM, keyboard, video, mouse equipped NAS. That means you can attach a monitor, a keyboard, and a mouse, a standalone surveillance system right in front of the NAS with that webcam, remember, looking at whoever's using it. On top of that, it can still be accessed remotely via the network and the internet, but having that extra tier of being able to directly interface with your surveillance NAS, as well as access it remotely over the internet or the network, yum yum, sign me up, buttercup. And that is why this system, at just 550 quid, and all the other things that NAS can do, is one of their flagship systems, makes it a great winner for surveillance for me, and a good entry point for prosumers and small, medium business users. Now here is where we ramp things up a bit because we're going to talk about Synology. Now Synology on, on basically are two sides of a coin when it comes to surveillance. On the one hand, their surveillance platform is unquestionably the best in that. Surveillance Station 8.2 with version 9 coming out right at the start of 2021, basically any week or month now, uh, 2022 I should say, any week or month now. Um, surveillance Station is by far the most user-friendly, easy to access, and best surveillance platform out there. All other services can be accessed and controlled via the web browser, and even camera feeds, multiple camera feeds, can be viewed in the web browser. The mobile app gets lots of updates, and it has a lot of extra enterprise-level features. On the other side of that coin, 
There's only, there's barely any Synology NASes that have more than two camera licenses. It's a real shame. Most people will buy the DS920 like this one over here and be like, yeah, surveillance, boom, two camera licenses. Now that's one camera out front, one out the back. What about indoors? There's nothing. And these camera licenses are not cheap. They retail for about 30 to 50 pounds a camera, which is a real bugger. So when it comes to Synology, they've got this incredible software, but it's so incredible, they kind of know how much it's worth, you know? So I tried to go through their entire catalog of devices to find the best one for surveillance from them, because a lot of people will choose Synology based on the software alone, which can run on all of the survey, uh, all of the Synology NASes. So what's the best Synology NAS for it? And every time I came back to the same one, it is the arguably most expensive surveillance NAS, unfortunately, but it is the DVA3221. The DVA3221 is a, a graphics card powered four bay NAS that supports up to six simultaneous AI powered surveillance tasks. This is everything from noticing if someone leaves a bag on the ground for too long to note it can look at a whole area covered in people walking around but it can see if a car goes near the curb or if so much as one person walks into the wrong area. If you have employees and staff going into your building and you it can keep a record of all of their faces and the minute a person arrives who isn't on that facial roster it will notice and alert or let people know so they can act accordingly. Everything from license plate registration coming next year to enhanced AI um, counting systems and just ultimately allowing the AI to do more than just notice that a leaf has suddenly moved in front of the lens. It's a really, really impressive thing. Also, that system arrives with eight camera licenses, which again, remember they cost 30 to 50 quid a pop. If you're already gonna have to have eight cameras and you're already looking at a Synology NAS, Bear in mind that you're going to have to spend three to four hundred nicker on those cameras anyway, so it might be worth erring towards this one anyway. Again, alongside everything I've discussed with those extra AI tasks, this system also has, with Surveillance Station, certain brand specific features, such as the ability to stream cameras live to YouTube if you choose. So, if you need a very quick public share way for those cameras, YouTube is an option there. You've also got the ability to turn a mobile phone into one of your cameras if you choose on the fly if you need mobile surveillance to send footage back to the camera. There's also home mode, a really cool feature that only really they have that if you have a phone that has the surveillance software on board, just a DS camera to look at it, if it's on the same Wi-Fi and network as your surveillance NAS, the minute you walk outside the house far enough away, um, and break the Wi-Fi connection, the NAS knows. How does it use that? When you're in the home, the cameras won't be on. The minute you leave the home and you break the Wi-Fi connection with your phone, all the cameras switch on. So again, it's a great little feature like that. And with promised improvements next year, such as Synology C2 recording, where the cameras will be running and recording to the NAS, but also recording to the cloud storage, with a up to maximum five second loss the result is that you're going to have a dual recording setup on one of the most sophisticated Synology surveillance NASes in the world it's really really impressive and I cannot wait to see what they do with this technology they've already unveiled the DVA 1622 a two-bay version of this but I'm really looking forward to seeing how they diversify the portfolio of the DVA range overall And finally, let's bring things back onto QNAP there because we're talking about innovation. We're talking about how they've developed these things to be even better. And this is for a widespread surveillance setup. This is the QGD3014PT. I know, right? Catchy name. We're just going to call it the Guardian uh, Recording System. This is a combination of many, many things. Now, all the stuff I said earlier about the QNAP TS-453D exists. A camera licenses support the Google TPU, um, the um, standalone surveillance system, encrypted recordings, all of that still stands. It's all supported on here and all of those AI services. But what makes this more expensive NAS another one to recommend? Why have I gone for a NAS that has those same features? Nice and simple. The QGD arrives not only with a four bay NAS system built in, but also it is a combined PoE switch. On the rear of the device is 16 PoE network ports, power over ethernet. That allows you to connect cameras like this one that have, 
a PoE connection. This is a camera that isn't powered by mains power. It is powered by just simple LAN cables that run into the NAS. The same cables that send the recorded fees, uh, feeds. So that means from this one system you can directly connect LAN cables. And cables like these can be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 meters in length. And you can wire out cost effectively the entire surveillance system in your business environment. And remember, that is a combined switch and NAS. So you're saving a lot of money on a 16 port PoE switch by having it combined into the NAS system. It also speeds up internal uh, traffic management. So the feeds that are being sent to room recorded, it speeds up everything because it's removing the kind of multifaceted device network there. Also the NAS and the switch run parallel. They're not integrated. Consequently, you can shut down, update the firmware on one or the other, and they'll run fine. So again, but this is kind of a, a kind of quintessential combination of uh, camera support, PoE camera support, a switch, and a NAS with an incredibly sophisticated surveillance system all in one. Sorry for the cut and recording there. A nice man from down the hall just gave me some free donuts for helping him out. There you go. That's a great world we live in. But this has been the surveillance NASs I would recommend now at the start of 2022. If you are interested in getting the right surveillance solution, of course, there are links in the description to NAS Compares, as well as links to all of the devices I've talked about today. Indeed, there's a full article on surveillance NAS and how we selected these three. All three of these NASs are perfect for surveillance in your home, surveillance in your office, your small shop, all the way scaling up to a giant business environment that can support many, many cameras to protect your assets and the things that are most important to you. If you've enjoyed this video, click like. If you want to learn more, click subscribe and the bell to be notified. And of course, take advantage of the free advice section over on NAS Compares. It's genuinely free. It's manned by two humans, me and Eddie the web guy. We don't do anything with your email. This donate buttons, use it, lose it. Give us free donuts, whatever suits you. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.